Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you what is workspace in Power BI. So workspace is an important concept in Power BI and uh, this video I just wanted to make sure that uh, you are aware of this because whenever you are done with let's say your Power BI report or uh, dashboard and you want to share with the uh, with your users or with fellow developers you can do that with the help of power bi workspace very easily so we'll see in a minute and just before that a quick information if you have landed very first time on my channel then you are seeing this google sheet the link for this google sheet is present in the description so it is a live google sheet that means uh, you can come here by using this link present in description Search for any of my previously created videos, whether related to visualization, dashboard, as you can see dashboard I have highlighted in uh, light blue color and very other different, different scenarios like finding duplicate or how to find and display best selling. I mean, just some examples so that uh, if you are encountering similar issues, you have the solutions just by quickly searching because searching within the channel is sometimes difficult so just to make that easy i am keeping all of my uh, video title related to power bi here as well as link is present in column b so you can jump to that particular video there so with that let's go and talk about workspace okay so here i am in the app.powerbi.com this is nothing but the power bi service and uh, you need to have either the subscription or you need to be a free user uh, to, to log in into that uh, or a trial user. I think trial is for 60 days. So when I, so this Power BI service or this website app.powerbi.com is something what you need to publish your Power BI reports and data set. So if you see over here, you have these workspaces and within there you can search for your workspaces that means you can create multiple workspaces for example let's say you want to create one for sales one for finance one for hr or within sales you have so many different things like opportunity reporting or uh, sales uh, representative reporting commission reporting and things like those so you can create those workspaces the benefit with the workspace is that you can have all your related dashboard at one single place as you can see you can have dashboard reports workbook and data sets so all of this at one single place and over here you can see that you have this opportunity analysis sample report and you have this data set so if you just want to see the content then uh, just click on content and you will get this report if you want to see any data set data set or data flow then you can see this opportunity sample data set as well or you can if there is any flow the flow will be present here or data flow so with this you you have this option over here by which you can click and as you can see i also need to upgrade to power bi pro to share it or use it for 60 days right with that you will be able to share your reports with the with your users if you come here you have some couple of other options like analyze in Excel. You want to delete it. Quick inside, it will create a very quick uh, Power BI dashboard. View lineage, paginated report, manage permission. All of these things, you can easily do it here. That way, you can define a user or a user group over here. So how would you bring your uh, report or dashboard over here? Well, for that, what do we need is basically this our dashboard so if you remember this dashboard is what i have created as a tutorial for you and let's say we want to uh, publish it into a human resource workspace so first thing is we we come here again to uh, app.powerbi.com in the workspaces let's create a workspace okay uh, not now if i create not now it will ask me to put it on a default so i don't want to start my trial or pro but i want to let's say publish again back to my workspace otherwise if i just go ahead and do this uh, uh, trial period then it will allow me to create the uh, workspace so with that i am um, i go to file and i click on publish when i click on publish it will take me so do you want to save your changes so it will ask if there is any unsaved changes so i'll click yes and then it will give me the pop-up where do i want to uh, save this so since i am already logged in with my account it is as it is it has identified a default workspace which is my workspace if there is let's say 
other workspaces what i thought of creating let's say human resource workspace or sales workspace it will come over here so we'll select this and it will start the publishing so it's saying publishing diversity hr analytics dashboard.pbix to our bi and maybe here some tip like you can create a portrait view of your report tailored for mobile phones on the view tab and mobile layout maybe over here or maybe directly over there also you can do so it is success and it has given you the link so if you click on this link it will open up the dashboard directly so now let's see how that this is coming so you can see we are again in my workspaces and the dashboard is present here right so this is the diversity dash and this is one more dashboard i think is it got published along with this because it would be part of the same workbook so it has published this entire workbook if you see okay i have to cross this so this is the hr analytics dashboard so both of them have published here and you can see you can click on this tab and you can view your dashboard with that you can share you can chat in teams about this dashboard even you can if you want to make some changes you can click on edit and with that it will show okay any visualization you want to add this is the data set which is over here and this is the ask a question sort of a thing which you want to change even over here i think formatting another thing you can do select this come over here do change some formatting on the fly so that way if if on the fly some changes as a developer you want to make you can make it so with this you can uh, take a control when you are publishing the dashboard and uh, once it's everything is done then uh, you can again uh, publish it back you can save it and uh, publish it back or come over here in my workspace and look you can see your diversity dashboard is now coming along with the opportunity analysis dashboard and you also have the data set as well so that way you can have uh, your dashboard published in a workspace but workspace ideally lets us uh, put all of our related content data set at one single place and you can basically share with other users collaborate with other developers if you want it also you can share it with your end users from here uh, as you can see it gives you the permission or you can have the option of managing the permissions over here with that uh, i uh, pretty much all i wanted to share in this video but if you have any questions uh, you let me know and uh, hopefully i'll try to give the answer uh, best of my abilities with that thank you so much for watching